Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if you're coming across an accelerator DLL is missing or not found error. Reinstalling the program may fix the problem. So this should hopefully go about fixing the issue without too much of a problem here. And this has to do with the Hewlett Packard or HP 3D drive guard. So we're going to go and start by opening up our web browser, doesn't matter which one. I'm going to have a link in the description of the video directly to an HP website that you see in the URL of my screen right now. And you're going to hit enter. This is going to be a direct download from their site. So it's about 30 megabytes, so just please be patient, it will take a couple moments to download. Okay, so once it's done downloading, just go ahead and left click on the file one time to actually begin the process of installing. If you receive a user account control prompt, make sure it's a verified publisher, you will pack your company, should say HP 3D DriveGuard. Go ahead and select yes. You want to select next again. If you want to agree to the terms in the license agreement and select next, select next again. So in my case, I'm not actually running a Hewlett Packard system, that's why it's not saying it's supported. Otherwise, if you are running an HP computer, hence why you're on this video, it should let you install without incident, but go about resolving your problem. Another thing you can try would be if you're still having a problem here. We're going to select finish because this is not going to work in my case, so I'm going to click on finish, but hopefully it would be able to resolve your problem. Another thing you can try would be to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in control panel. Let's match to come back on control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. You want to select programs and features. And if you don't see that option, you want to sort by large or small icons. So I'm going to select programs and features here. You want to locate the drive guard installation here and just go ahead and uninstall it and then go back to that link I showed and try and reinstall it. So again, hopefully that'd be able to fix the problem. Another thing you can try would be if you had any system restore points. So we're going to open up system restore here. So create a restore point is what the option would be in our start menu. So let's just say I had system restore already enabled on our computer here. So let me just go ahead and create a system restore point here just to kind of give you guys an example. So if you didn't have system restore already created, so if you didn't already have a system restore point created, this is probably not going to be applicable, this option. But if you did, which hopefully most of you guys should have, there will be an option to go back in time, so revert your system back to a previous restore point, which is what I'm going to just give you guys a brief visual representation of what that would look like. So once your system restore point is created, if you have one already made, we're going to select the system restore button here. You want to select next and then just restore your computer back to what I'd recommend is the most recently created restore point and then just select next and walk through the on-screen prompts. So again, pretty straightforward, just offering you guys another alternative method about hopefully resolving the issue. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.